Today I'm going to teach you all about short selling, promoters, and what is a bear raid. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader here answering your questions. A lot of people message me asking, what is a bear raid? Um, you know, what is short selling? Like this, the, the two questions are hand in hand. Short selling is when you bet against a company. You bet on failure. And frankly, I think it's a very good strategy with penny stocks because most penny stocks fail. Most are scams. Most will go to zero eventually. But you have to be careful because even if a company is a scam, it can rise quite a bit before the scam unravels. The whole point of a scam is to pump up the stock price as high as possible so that the insiders or the scammers can cash out. So you have to be aware of that. Um, beware of promoters, beware of pumpers, beware of liars. I understand that's a lot to be aware of, but these are penny stocks. Bear raids are when the opposite happens. A group of short sellers get together and they put out bad information or misinformation about a company and they all try to push the stock price down. And maybe the company isn't that bad. Maybe the company isn't a scam. Not every penny stock is a scam. So you have these short sellers who you know, maybe go all over social media as short sellers like to do, especially on Twitter because they have nothing else to do with their fucking life because they're miserable trolls, but they go on Twitter, they go all over social media and they say scam, 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 you know, warrants. They pick apart a company and they talk about every negative thing and they try to label it in the worst way possible to get other people wanting to A, short sell it, bet against the company too, B, if you're long the company, you want as a, you know, unethical short seller trying to create a bear raid, you want them to sell. You want the stock prices low as possible, so this is what the short sellers are trying to do. Penny stock promoters like the Wolf of Wall Street want the scams as high as possible. Short sellers who are conducting a bear raid want the price as low as possible. Now, you know, a lot of people say, well, aren't, isn't penny stock promotion illegal? Isn't a bear raid illegal? I'm not a lawyer, okay? Um, it's all very sketchy. It's all very unethical. And it's all also very not an exact science. You know, who's to say the short seller isn't right? Who's to say that this group of short sellers, they're not picking on a company where guess what? The company does deserve to go to zero. Maybe the short sellers are ahead of the curve. You know, there was a bunch of short sellers in a big scam, as it turned out, called Enron. And Enron was one of the top performing stocks in the world. So the short sellers were right. I don't know who's right and who's not. I don't try to make these guessing games like, is this definitely a scam? Is the CEO going to go to jail of any company? Or, you know, is this the bear raid and the short sellers are lying? For me, it's all about pattern recognition. So if a company keeps dropping every single day gradually, I'm not interested in it because maybe the short sellers are picking it apart. Maybe it's like from my penny stocking or penny stocking part de DVDs, the crow pattern where it, the chart just gets picked about a little bit every single day. There's nothing for me to do. I don't want to short it because there can always be one spike that squeezes me out. And I don't want to buy it because you know it's very scary to try to dip by a falling knife. What I prefer to dip by is morning panics. I have 650 plus video lessons on Profitly on morning panics. Panics. So if the short sellers are conducting a bear raid and trying to push it down, or if there's a bunch of shorts who have pushed it down, I don't fucking care. What I care about is if there's enough panic and it fits my pattern. And frankly, I'm grateful for the unethical short sellers. I'm grateful for the unethical promoters. This is penny stocks, okay? Like whether they're doing something illegal or not, whether they get shut down or not, I don't care. The game will continue. There's always another promoter. Maybe it's not like the Wolf of Wall Street, but maybe like 20 little want to be Wolf of Wall Streets. Maybe one short seller isn't in charge of any, you know, bear raid. Maybe there's a group of short sellers. I don't know. I don't care. You shouldn't care either. You should learn the patterns because you can't predict what a bear raid is. You can't predict if the, you know, promotion is going to last a week or two weeks or like five weeks or, you know, six months. You have no idea unless you're on the inside of one of these clandestine groups and I don't encourage that. You should probably go to uh, you know, the authorities with the knowledge that you have about that stuff. For me, I just want to study the patterns because the patterns are predictable. Short sellers create predictable patterns. Promoters create predictable patterns. So no matter what happens 
legally, no matter what happens factual wise and you know, is the promoter right? Is the short seller right? I don't care. I abstain from voting. A lot of people say, what do you think about this company? What do you think about this company? I have no idea, okay? I do know statistics. Most penny stocks will fail. Most of the companies will go to zero. But that said, some of the biggest scams that I've seen go up the most. The worst fundamentally screwed company can become the top performing stock because there's too many short sellers and they create a short squeeze. So don't just try to judge a company based on, you know, is this a short squeeze? Uh, is this company worthless? Is this company's value, you know, given all its assets worth like 200 million and the stock is valued at 50 million, so it's undervalued? Focus on patterns, okay? Understand this is not an exact science. The data that you have about short sellers is so wrong, it doesn't even matter. Um, social media is usually wrong, so it doesn't matter. Patterns are not wrong. If you see a predictable pattern again and again and again, obviously nothing works 100% of the time, but I'm focusing on patterns that work more times than not. Study up. This is why I have over 6,000 video lessons now all about patterns. I'm basically a pattern teacher. I'm a glorified history teacher. Leave a comment if you're gonna be dedicated. Leave the guessing games to other people and CNBC bullshit. Hey, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there. And also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge, and become my next millionaire student.